Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about the Minions. Now the Minions are a, gr a, a group or a tribe of these little yellow odd looking creatures. And, th and this movie shows you their beginnings from a, being a little amoeba, from the, living in the sea, to walking, to evolving to walk upright and walking on dry land. Now, the one thing that motivates the minions to move forward in their life or in, in, in an evolution is following a leader. Even from a little amoeba, they had the instinct to follow the meanest and the toughest of that, of that group. If they were evil, if they were mean and tough, the minions were there to follow them. But even though that all the minions want to do is help this evil person be happy, either as man or animal, doesn't matter, bad things always happen. Because they have good intentions, but they just don't know how to execute it well. Because every person they help, they always end up, well, killing them in a way. Not on purpose. I mean, they don't mean to cause this person harm, but they always end up dying. And they always got to end up starting all over again, finding someone else evil to help to, to who, they, who they can follow and who they can help. So they, they found the last person to help. And that person, well, they had a fortunate accident too. And it caused the, the minions to get depressed because they had no purpose in life anymore. Like, who can they follow? Who will be the evil, bad person that can lead them on their journey in life? They had no one. And they were sad. They were very, very sad. So Kevin, one of the bravest of the minions, said, No! This is enough. The sadness will end here. Because I, and hopefully some of you, will help me go on a journey to find the most evil, the toughest, and the smartest bad guy out there. And we will choose that person to be our leader. And he goes with, and he go, and, and Kevin chooses Bob and Stuart to help him on this journey. And while they're on this journey, they they run up, they they, they find Scarlet Overkill, who's voiced by Sandra Bullock, and they also find her husband Herb Overkill, who's voiced by John Hamm. Now these, now Scarlet Overkill is the baddest of the bad, and she is the first female to become the most evil of all. No one can touch her. You can't beat her physically, you can't outsmart her, and you most definitely cannot out-evil her. I don't, I'm not sure that's the right phrase, but who cares? And she's teamed up with her husband, Herb Overkill, who's pretty much her scientist. He pretty much makes all the equipment, all her gadgets, all her stuff that she uses to take over the world. So, she, she recruits the minions, and all, her first mission for the minions is to, I want you to steal the crown from the Queen of England. That's all I want you to do. And that would just make me happy. And if you fail me, well, bad things for them. So, like the minions do, they, like I said before, they have good intentions. But just like always, bad things happen. And the movie goes all wacky from there. Now, did I enjoy this movie? Yes, I did. Is it the best animation I've seen in my life? Not really, but it's still a lot of fun. The plot's not that, it's not a much of a plot to it, but it's, the, the characters alone are very simple, simple-minded. I mean, so, it kind of reflects that too. I mean, it's, it, it's not as in-depth as um, Inside Out was, but it's still fun to watch. I think Sandra Bullock did a great job playing Scarlet Overkill. Her voice acting there was great. Um, John Hamm did a great job playing her husband. Um, I, I liked because I, I saw it in an interview once that he said he, he was trying to do a, um, a sort of version of um, Austin Powers, which also showed if you watch the movie in the movie. So, I, like I said, it's, it wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. Nothing in the movie made me bust out laughing out loud, but I did get the jokes, and um, and I, I think his kids would love it a lot more. This is more of a kids-friendly movie. Anything else, but it's not too kiddy that parents can enjoy it too. I think parents and kids will both enjoy this movie. 
if I was gonna give the movie a grade, I say it's a solid. Like I'll, I'll say it's a B minus. It's a B, it's a B minus. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not the most horrible thing in the world. I, I was I wasn't bored watching it, so I was entertained throughout the whole picture. So I say, check it out for yourself. And leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the minions. About minions, did you love it or did you hate it? I think it's fun for everybody. I think kids and and parents will enjoy this movie. So. That's all I have to say about Minions. Give my channel a big old like. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.